Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to part 2 of my 3D print attack. In the part 1, I showed how I designed a 3D printer. In this part, I disassembled all of it and painted in chrome and black and putting it back together. The only thing I changed from the first design is the shocks. The shocks are bigger and also the motors are new. I used this motor, I believe people use it for crawling, uh, SCX10 cars and also the shocks are for SCX10. This is the left side and this is the right side. This is a better view, I think. It's too big for my disc. And this is how they will be connected, like this. And also, for the next video, is this bad boy. Let me show you. This is a 1969 body. 1969 body. Stay tuned. By the way, everything I use will be in the description box below if you want to build your own tank. Also, I'm going to change the connectors to DNS connector, T connector, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to run it on LiPo batteries. So I have to change this, I think. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cut both of these and connect it together because I'm gonna run it on single LiPo battery. Okay, soldering is done. Both motors are connected with these wires. I'm gonna connect the ESCs. These are half inch and four volts. I'm gonna put the ESCs temporary here because I'm gonna design a cover for it. The batteries will be here and all the electronics, I think it will be here. Yeah, but for now, I'm gonna put it here. Okay. I'm gonna use this six channel radio. This is the cheapest one, I think, on the Amazon. 500 meter range, half kilometer, six channel radio with a gyro. Let's test it out. Whoa.
I considered a successful project. For the next video, I'm going to design a cover and 3D print it and organize these wires. So let me know what are you guys thinking, how it looks. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.